on chilling but uh apparently my style is trending so wearing shades i started that yeah, those are cool shades and right it, be it became it became a trend every musician now want to wear shades every time uh -huh. there are kids out there that have so many problems you think doing drugs is a solution maybe just doing it for fun those ones i understand yeah. but most of them are driven to it there's peer pressure yeah first of all like yeah. oh my friends are doing it oh i see people doing it on tv it's cool yeah. You know, but those people have problems, they're not telling you, they, they're suffering from that same thing, but they're not showing you. You don't know what's happening behind the curtain. Mm. How do you know that they're enjoying their lives? When I was a teenager, I was in a Christian home, I had no access to any of this stuff. Yeah. And I started doing music, yeah. is when I started experimenting mm. with drugs yeah. and like alcohol, you know. Mm. I don't know why people say drugs and alcohol, it's the same thing both drugs you know so it's just tell them you know educate them on the on the on the, on the effects of these drugs mm. you know tell them you know when you do this this is what's gonna happen yeah. you know after some time you start experimenting maybe memory loss yeah insomnia depression you get paranoid you mm. get depressed mental health is I think people are focusing so much on like cancer mm. And I don't know what, but the youth in future are going to suffer from a lot of mental health problems because we're in a country where alcohol is cheap. I believe you're one of the greatest rappers. I am, but uh, that's like putting me in a box. Chilling. Now, if you're just joining us, we're still at Cafe Mocha with the incredible. You know, one thing I like about Keiko. She has developed this zero, you know, of scooping our words and a multitude fan base. Girl, how do you do that? Oh, well, you know, I don't know. I just exist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at her, oh, she's all being pretty. Yes, I just exist. exist. <laughs> now, before we left, okay. I, oh, I promised to talk briefly to talk about your new album, Strides. Yeah. And I mentioned that it, it implicates a journey, a yeah. new journey that you're attempting to take. Yeah. What is it all about? Are there any collabs or all this stuff? Um, no, no major collabs on that album. Mm -hmm. you know, as you can see when you read the track listing, there's no major collab on there. Yeah. But it's it's a pop album. Yeah. So um, of course Ugandans complain they want the same songs like they'll they're like Keko, we want to like yeah, make yeah. you dance and how we do we want that one. <laughs> the first hit you wrote. Yeah, yeah those are the ones. Same, same thing. They don't want to see something different. They don't want something right? different. They want the same things they used to. That's why the sound doesn't change in Uganda. Yeah. Okay, so um you have won various awards. Local uh, international. Mm. Yeah, so what do awards mean to you? It's a good question. Oh wow, that's interesting. Uh, when I first started, uh, awards were like everything, you know what I mean? Like, but then after that, you see it with me, I chase something and I don't stop until I get it. So when I won, I won local awards, I won all of them. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then after that, high people. Uh, no, no, I, by, that, by that time, high people is not a word. Like palm awards. I you won a palm award. Yeah. I have a palm award. Oh, yeah. And that was the biggest. The, yeah. the East African Fasting, Awards. East African Music Awards. Yeah. Yo. You, you have no idea. So the the really Young Achievers mm, Awards, yeah. which is which is signed by actually the Queen of Uganda, mm. and, and that was amazing. And then after that, I went to international level. Mm. I did the South African Music Awards in Kenya. Nominated. And then I, I, I went yeah. China. Oh, I yeah. was the first female, and I won. Wow. That was really and the nice. first international artist from Uganda to win an award. Yeah. Okay, cool. That's history. Like you can't touch that. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and it's good because I paved the way for others. Mm. So that's like. I don't care if, if I get respected by, by other people or not, but they, that's what they also wanted. Yeah, they chose to go for an international award and win an award. But you see, you know what I mean? Like you go to South Africa, but if the, if the music is just not good, it's just not good, you know? Like competition is stiff out there, you know? So definitely awards mean a lot to you. So how did you Well, well like not really. 
not really in a sense, because I said when I just started out, I was very excited about awards. Now, I'm like, I feel like I've won it all. You know what I mean? Yeah. I've won local awards, I've won regional awards, I've won continental awards. Um, yeah, to do it all over again, yeah, would be interesting, but it wouldn't be anything. Which one was your first award? I think it was a girl. Buzz Teenies? Well, Buzz Teenies were probably more awards, one of the two. How did you feel like this? It was amazing. I like trophies. Like, wow. like, if I don't win, don't nominate me. If I'm not going to win, you hear me, a word shows up there. If I ain't gonna win, don't put me on the list. I'm not, I'm not a, a statue. I'm not just going there to just enjoy air, eat food. But I want to win. You know, and that's the difference with me. It's like, when I'm gonna do something, 2017 is coming. When, I'm, when I put my mind to do something, I'm a winner. I like winning. If it's a award, I want to win the award. I don't just want to participate. And then, and then go and write on my Instagram or Twitter, Oh, we are all winners. <laughs> Regardless of if we won. No, 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 no. You See, have let's to do win. this. Let's do <laughs> this. Do, um, do you think there is lack of loyalty in the music industry? Absolutely. Absolutely. Keko, okay, take a pause. Let's do this segment. We have a game we're gonna play. Oh, okay. And it's called The First Thing That Comes on Mind. You just put Z on she, pause right now. Uh, yeah, she, she, of course, she's gonna ask you that. <laughs> okay, so okay. She, she's gonna uh, mention a bunch of words and be honest oh, and okay. genuine as you can. Okay. The first thing that comes on mind. Go, shoot. Basketball. Four. Good. Marriage. No. Wow. Donald Trump. Interesting. A donut? <laughs> Interesting. Oh. Hello? Oh. Hope. Future. Okay. Thinking. Okay. 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 Culture. Optional. Mm. Option. What else? And the yeah, culture is optional because mm. you see we live in the, we live in an era where like me at least like when I was growing up, I went to the village every every holiday, like see my grandmother, like walk bare feet, and just enjoy like life in the village. But nowadays, kids don't go to see their villages. They don't even know. They just on their phones. So culture is optional in that sense, and you can't force it. You can't. You have to raise kids like you have to raise kids like that with the culture. You don't wait for them to first grow up and tell them, oh, by the way, this is your culture. No, you have to make sure they go to the village maybe over christmas you know see how things are done there how they prepare food how they greet when they get there you know how to see it how to you know mm. when you're with, with grown-ups and what now that is something you can't teach a grown-up about you sir. yeah you have to teach them when they're young so nowadays it's the parents who are making culture yeah so, okay, so one more last one mom or dad yeah mom and dad you know it's mom and dad that's uh, dorothy and alex these yeah. are your real parents yes but you think about them well, they're both dead, the rest of their souls. Oh. It happened, uh, my dad I never met. So so that one was like, uh, will forever be one of those things, you know? That was the first man in my life, so like, I never got to meet him. It gets emotional sometimes, but, you know, I've, I've had father figures, my uncles, uh, my cousin brothers, and whatnot. So that's like, me, I was raised by women, you know, my mom, my mom, my aunties. Let's take it a bit to the um, yes, education stuff. Which schools did you go to? I went to nursery school, Matters Way, Nintendo. Primary school, I finished. I went to Rockview. I finished in Toro, Rockview, Toro. It was the best school at that time. It was like an international school. And then I went to uh, Senoa, Zana. Girls, yeah. all girls in secondary. I went to Mary Hill and Barara, yeah. Mary Hill High School, best school ever. Shout out, headmistress. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, and then I went to university and my career. Yeah. I didn't finish that because yeah. of the music club. Yeah, uh, okay. have you ever escaped from school? Never. Never. Oh, girls' school. How you gonna? You know how girls' schools are, man. No, I don't. I'm a boy. Girls are always fearing. You know how girls are. They, they fear things. Yeah, but you didn't like, escape from school, yeah. like go for clubs at night. Yes, well, that's clubs. why I was very excited when I started doing music. It's the first time I started to go to the club. What? I was like, what? Yeah. The first time I started to drink was when I started doing music. Yeah. You know, because that was a, I was raising a Christian family, very strict, not going anywhere. Yeah. You know, so I was like free on the streets and everything was really exciting until I, I met like the worst people and, <laughs> and, and, I, and I 
I calm down after the worst that. entourage. Yeah. Chilling. Is there any loyalty in the music industry? Following uh, your 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 label, Sony. You know, like, do you think it has been that loyal to you or to anybody who can sign to any other label? Like, so I'm not going to talk about the about like record label because, like, that's 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 cliche to talk about. You can't put the blame on the record label because if if the Ugandan industry, like, had my back still, regardless of what was happening, they wouldn't be here sitting talking about the same story. Yeah. It was like, Maybe they were eager to get rid of me or something because as soon as I got signed, they, they acted like they forgot about Keiko. I'm like, yo, wait a minute. Uh, I'm like, I'm Ugandan. Like, now, now I have to prove a point that I'm actually Ugandan. I'm like, what, what are you talking about? Is it because I speak very good English now? You're trying to Okay, now your your brain now. Come on, your brain, Keiko. What up, girls? What up? I promise when you speak oh, yeah. good English, uh, yeah. people have Your certain English ways. Is actually great. No, yeah. that's amazing. And I was born and raised in Uganda. Yeah. I learned all my English watching television in Uganda. Mm. So like, how are you gonna say? Ah, well you keep quality international, no no. But you're gonna be it's a good show. Even no Uganda. Those that's basic Uganda. She does. But you see, how can you say oh Kekali International no? It's gonna be it's a good show. It's a new but my friend. You see, the problem in the music industry is like, there's a lot of people who are not educated and they want to make it seem like music or entertainment is supposed to be for people who didn't go to school. Which is very, very bad, bad, bad to actually put it out there that music is supposed to be for people from the ghetto. My nigga, you know what I mean? So when you have children it's tomorrow, a career, yeah. yeah, it's a career choice. Yeah. I can go to school and have a master's degree. Yeah, I want to do music. Yeah, I don't do. don't make it seem like yeah. I have an option. This one's from the ghetto. Don't have an option. So now it's a problem for me to do music because I went to school. It's gonna be a problem. Your kids tomorrow want to do music. Want to be the next Justin Bieber. Yeah. Want to be the next uh, Chris Brown or Okeko. Okay, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah. So what are you gonna tell them that after oh, you went to school, they're not going to allow you to sing because you went to school. They want the other one who came from the ghetto IT because they are a ghetto champion. No, 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 no. As long as the music is good, everybody has a right. To do whatever they want to do in this country, as long as it's legal. Because she's like a sponge absorbing no, everything you're trying fact, to say. Yeah. When you speak very good English, mm. you become a target. Like this. Yeah. Then, of, and actually, what's so funny is people have not recognized that the fact I blew up in Uganda singing in English. Nobody's ever done that. Nobody's ever done that. They've always tried to like, eh? Maybe add some Uganda words in there. <laughs> Maybe sing one Uganda hit for the people them, hey. and then come back to English. No, I literally blew. I'm not. I, I don't come from a rich family. Yeah. So you can't tell me they get so. What, do what, I was. I, I was born and raised in Toronto. It's okay, we shall. In Toronto. Yeah. That life in Toronto is worse than the life in Kampala. Yeah. A ghetto in Kampala. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you cannot say because I speak very good English automatically. I am entitled, I come from a rich family. No, no, no. Oh, you're furious, Keiko. No, I am curious because because this happens a lot, yeah? Yeah. And then there are those artists who come from the ghetto, they feel like they deserve it more. Because mm. as a Sasoma, at least at least you use at least you went to school. <laughs> At least, so, Keiko, uh, what do you think at least about? Keiko, you went to school. So what? I want Sweden, to sing as well. Sweden, what do you think about now? Relating to the center, what do you think about uh, the media cesspool? You know, that is course. a little cesspool. Yeah. What do you think about them? Like well, writing bush, um, uh, uh, unfavorable like stories about you. They said I was sometimes. crazy. Keiko is mad. I don't know if mad people speak as eloquent as this, <laughs> but uh, try next time to come up with some good stories because um, <laughs> if you want to destroy somebody's career, there's this. I even wonder why you'd want to destroy Keiko's career. I'm good for the country. You know, I give a very. You're number uh, I, I, Yes, I, I, of music. I give but a very. You're actually be treasured in you. I am one of one of mm. a kind. One of like there will never be another. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. They want to promote music that is nonsense because no one is going to. No one is. It's not competition. Me, I can compete on any level, local, regional, international level. You need to promote artists like that. Yeah. Not to be like ah, this one. Oh. 
is not for Uganda. Yeah, we shall promote this one also. But you, you're not a Nigerian, you're not everywhere in the world. Nigerian, Nigerians are everywhere in the world, you know what I mean? And they promote their own talent. That's it. It's not like here where you'll have there's an artist coming over the weekend. I heard the money they paid him, I even laughed, man. In hundreds of thousands of dollars. And That's like, what I'm wow. saying. It's weird. And you cannot give your artist, a local artist, even two million to perform, you feel like you're doing them a favor. You know, be like, why? Well, eh? Right? No, you t- there's no loyalty, there's no patriotism. That's actually, we need to learn one thing patriotism. To love your own country, to love your own people first, before you can open your doors to other people. Other people. Because promote your own music. Your own, your own music. Yeah. And then it's like, it's like it, it comes back to, to the culture that I was talking about, you know, earlier on. Where the visitors are treated better than the kids at home. I did notice when there are new kids who come to the house, they send the kids who are in the house to the kids from the kitchen. But that is exactly how we behave in Uganda. That's how we treat you. Yeah, no, see, go for it. You're not the south. You're okay, it's okay to be nice. It's okay to be nice to the visitors, but okay. it's okay to be sit nice at the, the table. Sit at the same table. table. Yeah. No, sit at the same table. Have so you can converse. Chair, you so know. you can, you know, not like, oh, these ones are, let them sit on the chair. They are visitors. You guys sit down. Mm. That's what happens. You pay the foreign artists a lot of money, and then, you know, <laughs> culture. Chilling. So Z, do you have any other questions okay, to ask Keiko? I, I need to know who is Keiko dating. Ah, uh, Keiko is have. dating uh, the man upstairs. Yeah. The good Lord Jesus Christ. A good escape plan. Amen. Yeah. Keiko, Alwo, Alwo was your breakthrough. Yes. And it was your first. What does it mean like coming from that level to now having art? debut album and an independent album does it oh, do album? you feel so much accomplished not really i feel like oh, there's a lot not? there's a lot more that i should i should i should do still come on you said it's sony one of the best record labels yeah in the i world. did that and then and you then have a debut album with the best tracks anybody wants to hear yeah, absolutely but um there's more still this i i feel like i can do way more than way better than that Okay. And that's what I'm focusing on. 2017 is like a year of rebirth. I'm not, I'm not the soft Keiko that everybody is used to. Man. I'm, I'm in a point in my life where like you get you, you get what you give me. Like, if you give me a nasty face, you're gonna get a nasty face. I'm generally like the nicest person. The media try to paint me like I beat I beat my friends in the club. I don't know. I mean, because they're trying to promote somebody else, you don't have to use somebody else's name. So I'm at a level where I'm trying to uh, like upgrade my music. That's always been Keiko. Yeah. I never want to be an artist who's going to forever be trying to prove a point to people that, oh, I can't sing. No, they tell you you can't sing, but then you always say, I can't sing. You people, I am really good to know. <laughs> no trouble, sir. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. People need to respect you as an artist. Mm. You, have to have, you have to know your strength. There's artists who don't know their strength. They want to do everything. You know, and Keiko, I know my strengths. And I feel like they're not really put out there as yet. Some of it, just seeing certain sides of it, but the future is brighter and there's a lot more in store for Yeah. So what should be the level of expectations with your new album, Stripes? Ah, uh, no expectations. Just listen to the album. Uh, make me some money. <laughs> uh, yes, everything is it is on iTunes, iTunes yet? Yes, it's on iTunes, it's on Deezer, it's on Apple Music, it's on okay. Google Play, Spotify, okay. Amazon, everything it's on there. Yes. Let's talk about Jala Kum. My wife is talking about Jala I don't know. Jala Kum. It's, it's a, a new language. Video. It's a new language we made up. Yeah, it's, it's a new language. Because it's called the Kum language. From where? Is it constitutional? Or? From Keiko. From Keiko, I'm the producer. <laughs> You're crazy! I hear from Kepa the producer. I'm the producers, yeah. <laughs> So I love the simplicity of the video. Absolutely. Yeah, it was simple. 
know, some bikers running around. And yeah, that's Kampala, you know, that's, that's, we were busy trying to portray other people's countries, you know, and, and the lifestyles which we are not living in Uganda. Like, I mean, in Uganda we ride borders. Yeah. Our streets are not the best looking, but it's beautiful still. We love our country. So when I did Jala Kumbaya, I was trying to just keep it simple, the cars we drive. Yeah. Because I'm Mark X in the car. Yeah. I'm not trying to bring, like, I don't know, some vintage. I don't know, whatever. Nobody sees those cars on the road, you know what I mean? You can't afford to drive that car. Yeah. Let's just be as realistic as, and I'm keeping it as real. I want to be that artist that, you know, that keeps you real. I want it to be like, when I was younger, like, I wanted to be like, oh, oh coupe, I don't know, Mercedes Benz drop top, <laughs> no swag. But you can still have the swag uh, without trying, uh, you know? And uh, Jago Kumbaya does that. Yeah. Very simple clothes. And was that in Kamocha? What was it? Kamocha Street. Yeah. Or Kamocha Street or Kamocha Street. Okay. That's uh, Acacia, Sanzi, like one of those words. Yeah. Then the Vuka, Saifah. Saifah. You came up first. Oh, what, what was behind that chronological I'm arrangement? The queen. She's the queen. I thought the only female queen. rapper. Female. Female Lala on the. Don't say rapper, musician, yeah. female musician on the side. And yeah, okay. remember there were rappers and dancehall artists. So we could have chosen a dancehall artist to do it. And what prompted the suits? Why did you have to put on suits? I mean, the corporate, because we're not at that level now where we can be messed with. We're like 007, I'm like female see. James Bond. I see. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Give me a line or two uh, about your voice in that. Oh yeah. Yeah. Go somewhere. Mm. Half a million here, half a million there. Shining with the fears, queen of hearts, lovers in the air. Listen, listen. I know defeat is hard to bear when the queen is on a roll and you're sitting in a chair. Oh, moving super hella fast. Can you keep up? Oh, in the kitchen still stirring when you eat up. Oh, look up. On a swag when you hook up. Yeah. Daydreaming, very smell. Me. Daydreaming, very smell. Me in a nuka. And you know I'm past, present, and the future Never going offline, online, cut computers yeah. Best ever, ever, that's to argue a man Politicians by the ticket like Parliament I'm just uber dope, a young rookie in a vet, yeah I said a young rookie in a vet Tight bars, corsets, and sweats None of y'all can test, better place your bets Yes, you can't wrestle, I kill y'all and hope y'all rest Rest the mess, y'all rest the mess Then you gotta tell me to stop them Cause I can go all the whole night <laughs> I love, I love every artist that was there and I give credit to each and every one. Absolutely. But I think my personal favorite was you. Oh, no, I know you're saying that because I'm here, you know. That's okay, like, even Ryonga too. Right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I and mean, the myth. The myth also, yeah, killed it. And there was something oh, like, 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 even the myth. There was something different with uh, the ordinary cyphers I, I usually see. Even the this video. time you had uh, dancehall, yeah. Peter Miles in there. Because like, hip hop is like from dancehall as well. Plus, that's like music. Yeah, yeah not in Nathan. Not in Nathan, Peter Miles. Uh, so, uh, Josh the Fixer did the video? Absolutely, he's amazing. <laughs> he's amazing. Okay. Chilling. Do you think you should somehow change it to indigenous? So that what is indigenous? Because if you say indigenous, I'm seeing people like Olamide, Pino Pino, uh, Sakudai. Okay, so if I start singing in Japadola, would you but think I would sell? Think, no, 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 no. Do you, don't you think that there are Japadola artists out there? Yeah. Have you ever heard of them? That's a good question. No. Why? Because you want a certain language. Let's adopt Swahili. It's neutral. I do my English, I do my 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 Japadala in bits. And when I, I know my talk, like I'm like the queen in, in it or I'm I'm queen of the east, like I said before. Yeah. So like <clears throat> let's adopt a language. Yeah. You know? Okay, like tell everybody comes. that, okay, yeah, let it be Luganda, hmm. unified, but then now you're talking about culture hmm. at the same time, hmm. but you want people to adopt another culture. culture. But how do people but like, so many how cultures. do people like Olamide Ibadu do it? Like, because because in their country, because it's really smitten. Because hmm. there's a big population of people who speak that particular language. Oh, like there are three main languages. There's Yoruba, Hausa, huge. 
I've said have a lot of people. Yoruba, Hausa, and I don't know which other language. Igbo. Igbo. So those ones, but you said there are three. It's easy. Choose one. You know? But here there are so many. So many. So many words. Any last <laughs> remarks, Keko, before we wrap it up? That's Sukana. Oh yeah, I mean, I, I thank you guys for having me on the show. All right. Uh, you guys uh, look like you need to go, you know, and drink some water because I like, must be hella hot over here. Ah! <laughs> you know, don't Take you me. don't just don't open water. Don't just start frozen. <laughs> don't just start frozen on us. So uh, I mean, see, I think you should do it. Time for us to the have grand guest here. We always have a grand guest here on the show. Oh wow. yes. To the beautiful. Keiko. Beautiful Keiko okay. receives a present. Yeah. Thank you. Check it out. Did you guys really do this? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we did. Check it out. Oh, I need to keep telling. <laughs> Why are you trying to tell me? No, 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 no. Like, it, it could just, you know, uh, remind you. What's the best color? What's the best Actually, color? Actually, these are my favorite colors. I like turquoise, which is this. Oh, yeah. green. So green turquoise, but thank you guys very much. And I love apples, so uh, I'll make sure I put this in my. That's not a real apple. You can't eat it. You know that, Keiko. Right? I love eating. <laughs> wow, yeah. wow, wow, wow! We thank have we, so we have had just uh, too much fun with Keiko. I wish we could stay further, but we cannot. Chilling. You can go on our Facebook page that is Chilling DNZ, Instagram mm. at DNZ, Twitter at DNZ Keiko. Yeah, what are your handles? Keiko, uh, follow me on Twitter at Keiko Town. Mm. And uh, I have a new, my old Instagram and Facebook were hacked yeah. by a bunch of haters. So we're building from scratch. So on, on Instagram it's Keiko Town as well, and Facebook it's Keiko. Keiko. Keiko music professional. Yeah. And you hackers, I don't know what you do. How, why would you and hack into Keiko's uh, man, social media? Habits? I don't know, man. <laughs> this is real, yeah. Not forgetting people who dress me up, that's the urban styles, and my makeup is done by, it's done by the Beyond Beauty Paul. Yeah, and me, I'm dressed by Fuzzy Classic. This guy is phone in one day just opposite the UTL building. Go have some clothes with a nice muscle, you know, look clean and fresh, just like me and Keiko. Thank you so much. We're calling it a wrap. Keiko, God bless. I'm Thank looking you. forward to listening to your new strikes album. I think I'll go to my. Oh, uh, yeah, my if you have iTunes. iPhone, you see, this is rich music. You can't yeah. just find it anywhere on the streets. Yeah. You know, you gotta have iTunes, you know, because, uh, you know, cheap things are expensive. <laughs>